War in Israel rages on. Since its creation as a sovereign state, Israel has been touted as one of the strongest forces in West Asia. However, Israel still failed to stop or anticipate this attack as the Hamas militant group Israel. Well, just how did the militant group plan the attack, which involved bulldozers and motorbikes? More on this in our next report. Saturday's attack by Hamas marked the worst breach in Israel's defenses in decades. According to a Reuters source, Hamas deployed a force of about 1,000 fighters, organized into specialized units. They've been training in Gaza since the last conflict in 2021, sometimes in plain sight, the source said. Here's how they managed to catch Israel off guard. This footage released by the armed wing of Hamas is said to show fighters training ahead of the operation. They're using paragliders, and a source says their exercises included building a mock Israeli settlement to practice a military landing. Reuters could not verify the date and locations of the videos. But the training would have come amid a careful campaign of deception by Hamas, which had convinced Israel that it did not want to fight. It refrained from military operations against Israel and was careful about leaks. Even many Hamas leaders weren't aware of the plans, according to the Reuters source. A spokesperson for the Israeli Defense Forces admits they were surprised. Hamas separated its fighters into several specialized groups to carry out the attack in the air and on the ground. It fired thousands of rockets at around 6.30 a.m. on Saturday. The bombardment was intended to cause shock and confusion, while providing Hamas fighters with cover to break the fortified fence surrounding Gaza. Teams of fighters on hang gliders, or motorized paragliders, flew over the border and secured terrain for the main ground assault. A 400-strong elite force on the ground attacked the fortified Gaza fence. Videos issued by Hamas are said to show fighters breaching the security fences. It also released video of drones it says it used for border surveillance. The final part involved moving hostages to Gaza, mostly achieved early in the attack, a source close to Hamas said. In one well-publicized hostage-taking, fighters abducted partygoers fleeing a rave near the kibbutz of Re'im near Gaza. One analyst told Reuters that Hamas probably succeeded beyond their expectation, but now they'll have to, quote, deal with an Israel determined to decimate them.